I'm going to show you the elements of the song and a couple different versions of it and then uh, you can figure it out uh, to your specific artist. Um, if you like Ian Hunter like I do, he plays it with on the original version with a straight sixth, um, which I'll explain that. He has another CD called Welcome to the Club, which is a great live album by the way. and. Um, he adds a seventh in there, and a lot of his live albums after that add the seventh. Great White does both. They add the sixth and seventh, and even a little bit rock and roll rhythm. So um, we'll kind of touch on all of those as we go through it. So I'm going to give you the basic live version that I really like. So um, here we go. <laughs> intro uh, to the live version if you're like again into the original version it's a straight sixth and when I say sixth we're doing a C with a fifth root here and uh, we're doing basically a power chord and kind of adding this rock and roll they call it the sixth because you're adding the sixth in the C scale so this note here is an A <laughs> So you got to listen to the rhythm, kind of follow along with that, but you're adding the sixth. If you do the seventh, obviously that's one more, and um, we're going up to the A sharp. So again, in the live version, uh, Ian does that, and he kind of changes the rhythm up in a couple spots. So he's doing more of a back and forth between the 6th and 7th. And then he goes up and holds it. A little dissonant, but it, it works in the song because you got piano in the background um, kind of filling it in. So, in the Great White version, they're doing a little bit of both. this so we're doing kind of a C we're referencing the C by holding the fourth and third string down at the fifth fret and then we're going to do this typical kind of rock and roll rhythm so if we were in A it'd be so same kind of thing but they do it this way. Great white uh, version. With, I don't have that. Um, I kind of listened to it on YouTube, but um, also they tune down just, just out of pitch a little bit. Uh, maybe that's my hearing. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, tune your guitar to the song. Again, it's C. Then we go to G. And then D. And we repeat that. So the rhythm moves to B flat and then E flat or A sharp and D sharp. It sounds to me not quite as bassy. Um, maybe it's my poor hearing again, but. Uh, I tend to play the B flat up here at the uh, fifth root, first fret. So it's a personal preference. Um, usually I'm all about uh, ease of motion. 
and going from this D to the uh, B flat here uh, makes more sense but again that's what I'm hearing so it's a personal preference whatever you want um, so after we come down uh, and do a measure of the uh, B flat to E flat they just hold a C and then the drums kind of drum in and, and uh, take off and then, then the whole song starts from the beginning again with the verse from the C to the G to the D and you want to kind of stab it to the chorus and I'll play the chorus at speed and uh, slow it down for you. Okay, so for the chorus, what we're doing, we're going to C, up to F, and we're going to do 6th and 7th with the F. To a G. This G is a power chord. Uh, basically, I play a G with these first two fingers occasionally, and I'm not playing the third, so I'm not playing the B note. I'm just kind of muting it either with this finger or with my second. And then they come back into the verse. So that's the whole song as far as rhythm. Um, if you want to play along with the lead, you can do, it's in the key of C. Um, and do some of those riffs that follow along typical rock and roll. You can go to the G when they move to the G chord. Um, anyhow, so uh, that's the song. I hope you guys enjoy.